Good morning, guys. It is a really, really gloomy day outside. That's why I got the light on in here. Super gloomy. And um, yeah, we just got up. Well, Jake's been up. I've been up too. I've been. We usually like we first wake up. He'll come in here and play games for about an hour, and I'll read uh, one of my books for about an hour. Uh, yeah, and then I get up, come in here and make the bed, and. I get our food started before we go to work out. Like I go ahead and put the chicken in the oven, the frozen chicken breast, and just let it uh, heat up in there. And that way it's good to go by the time we get done working out. And then I'm gonna cut it up, put it in here, put some cumin powder, and get these whole wheat tortilla shells over here. Ah, here we go. Whole wheat tortilla shells, and we'll put some cheese. Uh, probably put lettuce on Jake, tomatoes on mine, some sour cream and make like a like a healthy quesadilla and then i like grilling it up on this little panini maker that jake's grandma got for us uh she got me a rice maker also at christmas time and she didn't know that uh that uh, jake's mom had already got me a rice maker so she got me a panini maker and uh i've been using both of them honestly that's why i got the rice cooker hanging out over here because i just washed the bowl for it last night these things are freaking awesome <laughs> super awesome but yeah this one is a uh, good if you want to like you can grill vegetables on this thing it ain't, you can't just use it as a panini maker and jake got him a little blender for his uh protein i got chocolate protein but i i can't i've tried like bananas and different stuff in it and it's it's okay but i don't know unless i'm like craving like a milkshake then it, i can't get it down every day it's a little like much for this me this morning the first thing i do when i get up too is i come in here and i fill up my water bottle I load it down with a bunch of ice because I like my water freezing cold and I go ahead and start chugging it and then I go into the gym and I will oh, I will pull back the curtains on this roll out our uh, yoga mat so that it kind of gives us a little bit more forward space without having to add the mats back in for our workouts we've been using um, weights a uh, little exercise ball. I use that for kettlebell kettlebell swings because it's a 20 pound weight. Jake uh, has a kettlebell over here that you guys saw. Uh, I think we mentioned it in the last video. He has a kettlebell. It's a 25 pound. He works obviously with more weight than I do whenever we're working out. And uh, we've got the pieces for his heavy bag. And he's got to put that back up over here. So yeah. And this is our, our little tiny gym. So you don't need a whole lot of space to work out, but this works perfect for both of us. And uh, he's got his mask hanging up, that high altitude mask. I love this. He bought this forever ago. We need to get it framed. We got it up with just like push pins, but. And then we've got our resistance bands up on the walls. He's got a, uh... we showed this to you before, I think. It's like one of those like portable sauna nice. exercise bike. I wanted that for a long time and I was using it a lot in my past videos but lately where we've been getting cardio in with our regular workout I don't haven't been using it as much maybe on yoga days or something but I definitely do need to get more cardio in I know I'm not getting enough and um yeah then here's his bench and his gym bag to go to the and gym. also what we're thinking is as a reward system to ourselves is every time we work out uh, for an entire month, we're going to reward ourselves with a new piece of equipment for the gym. Yeah, so we're not going to reward ourselves with bad food or go out and blow a bunch of money on stuff we don't want or don't really need or we'll, you know, enjoy for a little while and then never use again. So, yeah, we're going to use it on more equipment so that we can keep getting better and keep getting stronger. doing a diet we're just trying yeah. to like eat a lot a lot healthier like yeah. no chips no yeah, if you know it's bad we got rid of it yeah like chips soda shit like that if you it's know it's gone. bad then just we're just like okay replace it with water replace it with a milk or 
that silk milk that I got and mm -hmm. just get you everybody's got a cup measure and spoon just leave it by your microwave or by your fridge that's what we do but yeah so that's what we're doing I'm starving it's already like almost one o'clock and we haven't ate anything because we've been trying to we work out first thing in the morning and then try to make our. We had a lot of running to do this yeah. morning, so we didn't really get a chance to. We're to uh, weekends are yoga days, so we're gonna be doing a lot of yoga, which we really need. My shoulders are super tight from that last workout, and uh, my hip, <laughs> my hip feels like it's like it's, all messed up. It's my shoulders, my shoulders, like when I like was reaching out here typing on this to like do something earlier like my, my arms is like yeah. falling even holding up the phone like i'm holding my phone leaning it on the window because it's just freaking killing my <laughs> arms We're doing every day we take no breaks yeah this We're is now every day. this is now about uh, our two week streak of uh working out consistently and eating better and uh no no like sugar we don't do no cakes no ice creams no yeah. no nothing <laughs> yep no soda, no chips, no candy. Nope. Yeah, I haven't had a Werther's in over We haven't two weeks. went out to eat either no, in we two weeks. We, we had that pizza we told you guys in the last that was, video. That was almost three weeks ago now. Yeah, because technically the the week the week you guys watch is the week before in the month, obviously, because we can't we don't film real time. Yeah. So uh yeah, it's been a minute now since we've had that pizza. And Lord knows we've been wanting it bad. Oh God, like, Last night days. was the worst. Me and Jake were talking to each other about it, and was, he was like, "If you could eat anything right now, what would you have?" I was like, "Oh my God, I would love a freaking um, lobster mac and cheese from Pax Tavern in Asheville, North Carolina. It is a, oh, it is good." What did I say? A Mount, the Mount Mitchell burger from Pax is really good. Yeah, they put like a good. fried egg on it, but you said like red lobster, no. garlic shrimp. What was I craving really bad last like night? Like those, uh... Probably just like... Oh, I was craving cases. Chipotle. Yeah. They were last night, I was like, oh my God, I haven't ate Chipotle in so long. Right now, we're just trying to be healthy. So, we do try to get stuff that's lower calorie and lower in carbs and lower in sugars. Like, I'm looking at the nutrition side of things yeah, whenever to. we buy things. So, real quick, guys, I just want to say that I'm about to go into a rant in this video, and I don't want you guys to take this personal. This is just my opinion about my life and what I'm doing right now that's making me happy. Whatever you do in life that makes you happy, if you're eating mac and cheese and it's making you happy, or if you've, you know, gained a bunch of weight, but right now you're the happiest you've ever been, that's awesome for you. I'm just saying from my experience and what I'm doing right now that's making me happy. So please don't get offended by this. If anything, I hope it motivates you if you want to make a positive change in your life. But just know that this is, I'm speaking from my experience and I'm not speaking to any of you all. As long as you're happy, however you're living your life, I'm happy for you. So I just want to put this in here real quick. Arms getting tired, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I think, um, for me, what made it important to me this year, because I'll tell you guys the excuses I, I was making before in case, you know, you, you might be making some of them too, is it's like, well, if I'm going to die tomorrow, I'd rather die of eating mac and cheese yesterday than die of eating salad. Like, like you're going to, like a healthy person can still get hit by a car, can still, you know, get in an accident and die. Like, of course, of course that, that's true. That is true. But what what switched my mindset from all that because i used to say that all the time i'm like oh you could die any day you, you're like you're like what if you don't get to have that you know coke that you want or whatever like that used to be my reasoning for not giving up all this stuff and i think well what's lately changed my mind about that is literally my mental health because and i keep putting this on there but like as an important thing every time i bring this up in vlogs and stuff because I swear, like, with quarantine and there's some states where people are still stuck in their houses and stuff, you got to stay on top of that shit, guys. You have to stay on top of your mental health. I swear you do. I keep putting it, pushing it in my videos, and I'm not, like, a psychiatrist or anything. I've just been through hell and back, literally. Like, I've, I've you know, I've been in situations. I'm not having been a psychologist, but I've been in shit situations to where my mind fucks me over and it sucks it sucks so bad that's why i can't be mean to people that's why i feel like you know no matter what i'm just i'll assume somebody's just having a bad day or going through something on their own and i can't say something to them i can't i can't it's because i know what kind of hell that is to be in that mindset all the time and that's literally how i was i was using food as a way to like cope with my mind 
24 7 i'd have a shit day and then i'd come home and eat a shit ton of food that's what i would do every day and then just crash and sleep on the couch till and then you know get up and take a shower go to work and do it all start the whole damn process all over again and and you're like you know i went to work all day i deserve this i deserve that and blah 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 and then you don't even realize the hole you're digging yourself in you don't realize how much deeper you're digging it in because i wasn't i wasn't a happy person i wasn't a good person and i wasn't you know i don't know i just wasn't proud of myself i really wasn't i thought i was i was like oh you know i go to work every day but that ain't enough <laughs> that ain't enough guys it ain't enough to just work every day you you've got to be a good person you really do i mean if, if that's something that's it's important to me to be a good person because like i said i've been through hell and i don't want to put anybody else through that that kind of bullshit so I want to be a good person. The people I interact with, I want them to, you know, know that I have good intent. And I feel like when you eat bad, you don't realize how bad it fucks with your head. Yeah. You don't. It feels good in the moment, but then your whole body's hurting the oh, next yeah. day. You feel extra tired and groggy, and then you feel guilty. You know what I mean? After that, you feel guilty because you're like you've seen all these other people that are like on track and doing the right things, and then you feel like shit for not doing it. All this stuff sounds like a good idea until you're living it. You know? Yeah. And you, you just don't want to get in a dark place like that, guys. And if you do get in a dark place like that, it doesn't mean you can't turn that shit around. It's not the end of your life. You're not, you know, you, you can still. Yet. No, you're not dead yet. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new start. You can change it all. You could literally, you don't know who the hell you could be when you flip the shit in your head. I swear to God, you don't know. Who, and it, that gives me cold chills just saying that shit. You don't know who is inside of you waiting to fucking come out as soon as you make that switch in your head. And you don't, like I said, you don't realize like the the stuff that you do on a normal basis, like how it adds up, but it does add up big time. And when you're making a bad choice day in and day out, hour after hour, it adds up. So that's all I'm gonna say about that, another motivational speech for me, but I, I swear to you, I'm, I was one of those people. I was one of those people that had the excuses that was eating all the bad shit and that had a shit job and was in a bad mood most of the time and pretending to be in a good mood most of the time for people whenever they're around and i was just i wasn't happy you know I just wasn't happy and you got to find your happiness you got to figure out and to get you there sometimes you got to do shit that doesn't make you happy like if you're like well working out doesn't make me happy and i thought the same shit i swear to god but it does it'll put you in a better mindset because you'll be proud of yourself you'll be proud of yourself for pushing pushing harder and going through something that was challenging that nobody else does. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, people do it, but the difference is you did it. You were you were the one stopping yourself from doing it, and you made yourself do it. That's it's huge. Yeah, it's I will huge. find that doing things like setting this schedule up and doing what we've been doing and doing it every single day, it gives you no excuse to put it off or no excuse to like some people go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or work out, you know, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sunday or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like now that I've been doing this stuff every single day and gotten to a routine of doing it. That routine sets in faster, and you give yourself no excuses. You can't be like. Well, I, I did work out Monday, but I guess I'll do uh, I guess I'll do Thursday, Friday this week and say I worked out three of so nothing. That's why it's so important too, though, to just get it done. Yeah. Just go yeah. ahead, get up, and get it done <laughs> as fast as you can, or do it right before you got to go to bed, or and take you a quick shower, and then you'll sleep like a baby. <laughs> Trust me, you'll sleep good. But honestly, for me, I do think the best time of day is to do it first thing in the morning, because like yeah, you'll be a little bit tired after you do it and stuff but you get you a shower get you some good food in you and then you're just you know what i mean you already took care of yourself for the day and and one of the things the ladies that we watch that work out when we're following their routines and stuff something that stuck with me she said just remember guys you can't pour from an empty cup yeah. and i've i've learned that too you can't help people when you're not in the position to be you're not even helping yourself you know what I mean? You can't help. You can't expect to help other people or be a good person to other people when you're not making those changes for yourself. So just you know, something to consider. A lifestyle change is not the same as a resolution. No. Nope. Lifestyle change is seven days a week. A resolution is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Make a lifestyle change, not a resolution. And you'll you, see progress. And you'll feel much better, and you'll give yourself no excuses. And you know, to end it on another note, real fast, what I want to say is when I said at the beginning of this whole speech, like if you. Um, 
you know, I said, what if you die tomorrow and you didn't get that mac and cheese and a soda and instead you had a salad and all this other shit? You know what? I think now, uh, my mindset changed now, what, how I would look at it now. If you died tomorrow, if I die tomorrow, I know I got up this morning, I work my ass off and I eat stuff to better my health and my body so that I could be a good person for other people. Yeah. And that'll make me feel better going out than <laughs> eating fucking mac and cheese and sitting <laughs> on the couch and watching TV all day. Yeah. So, I mean... It's up to you guys, but that's that's just my perspective right now, and that's how we're looking at it, and I'm I'm proud of it. Uh, but it does help doing it together with somebody. Yeah. Like I will say that I've tried this on my own to be hardcore, and it's hard. Through it, it's really can't hard. Do it. And she's tried to go hardcore cold turkey without me, and it's extremely hard. But now we both are on the same yeah. thing, yeah, and we're going at it together, and that's why it's good for y'all to watch. If mm -hmm. you do watch, you see yeah, and if you want to go go day. at it with us. <laughs> we're here with you it sucks the cravings suck the <laughs> the Being running hungry. out of calories at the end of the day sucks drinking water sucks no it doesn't it does too suck i, like I still got mine i'm still carrying it i'm still doing it i'm not saying like this is something I, I don't care if it sucks this is something i want to do the bottom. yeah Where look at that son? um he's beat me so far this morning i chug mine usually when i'm working out because it tires me out but uh yeah, all of it does suck, but in the end, like, you're, you'll thank yourself for it, honestly, when yeah. you're a better person yep. for it. Yep. So, that's, that's what honestly counts. To me, that's that's my ultimate goal and dream, too, in life. It's like I said, to be the best person I possibly can for other people. And that way, if anybody that's ever had an interaction with me, they'll be like, I know her. She's so freaking nice. She'd never heard a fly. She's super helpful. I can talk to her about anything. That's my ultimate, like, who I want to be. I want to be that person. Like, I'm super shy and, and you know, kind of awkward, but still, I, I'd rather be, I want to be a nice person and a good person, ultimately, no matter what it takes. And yep. if, you know, me doing this is going to take that up another right. level, well, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our, our next little speech. Our coming home from the grocery store speech. <laughs> Woo!